The Nigerian Civil War, also known as the Biafran War, was a conflict that lasted from July 6, 1967 to January 15, 1970 between the secessionist state of Biafra and the Nigerian government. The war was marked by intense and deadly military operations that eventually led to the defeat of Biafra. Here are three key military operations that played crucial roles in ending the Biafran War Operation Torch mid-1968. Objective to cut off Biafra from the sea and isolate it from external support. Nigerian forces launched a combined air, land and sea offensive aimed at capturing the key seaports and coastal areas of Biafra. The capture of Port Harcourt, a major oil-producing city, was a significant blow to Biafra. It deprived the secessionist state of its primary source of revenue and access to international aid and arms. The Nigerian Navy played a critical role in blockading the Biafran coastline, effectively cutting off any potential supply routes from foreign allies. The impact the success of Operation Torch severely limited Biafra's ability to sustain its war effort and increased internal pressure due to shortages of food, medicine, and military supplies. Operation OEU Organization of African Unity April 1969 Objective to capture major Biafran strongholds and force a surrender named after the Organization of African Unity to symbolize the pan-African support for Nigeria's unity, this operation involved coordinated assaults on key Biafran cities and military positions. The Nigerian army, led by Colonel Oluskan Obasanjo, made significant advances in capturing strategic towns such as Owari, ABA, and Umuahia. These towns were vital for Biafra's defense and logistics, serving as administrative and military hubs. Impact the fall of these key towns further weakened Biafran resistance and disrupted their command and control structures, paving the way for the final offensive against the secessionist state. Operation Tailwind December 1969 January 1970 to deliver the final blow to Biafran forces and secure a decisive victory. Launched in late December 1969, this operation was a series of final offensives aimed at overrunning the last Biafran defenses. Intense battles and strategic maneuvers led to the eventual encirclement and capture of Owari on January 9, 1970. Impact the successful execution of Operation Tailwind marked the end of organized Biafran resistance. On January 12, 1970, Biafran leader General Adumegwu Ojukwu fled into exile, and his deputy, Philip F. Young, formally surrendered to Nigerian forces on January 15, 1970, thus ending the war. These operations were instrumental in the Nigerian government's efforts to reassert control over the secessionist region of Biafra. The combination of military strategy, economic blockade, and political maneuvering ultimately led to the defeat of Biafra and the reintegration of the region into Nigeria. The war, however, left deep scars and had significant humanitarian consequences, including widespread famine and civilian casualties. The 7th Battalion of the Nigerian Army played a significant role during the Nigerian Civil War, particularly in the operations conducted in and around Calabar role of the 7th Battalion in Calabar during the Nigerian Civil War Calabar, a strategic city in southeastern Nigeria, Calabar was crucial for the Nigerian government due to its port and proximity to Biafran territories. Securing Calabar would cut off Biafran access to the sea and disrupt their supply lines. Key operations involving the 7 Battalion Operation Unicorn October 1967 objective to capture Calabar and secure southeastern Nigeria. The Nigerian Army, including the 7 Battalion, launched a coordinated attack to capture Calabar from Biafran forces. The operation aimed to control the Calabar port, which was vital for Biafra's imports of arms and supplies. The 7 Battalion played a crucial role in the amphibious assault on Calabar, supported by naval bombardments and airstrikes. After intense fighting, Nigerian forces successfully captured Calabar, dealing a significant blow to Biafra's logistics and supply routes. The impact the capture of Calabar marked a turning point in the war. It deprived Biafra of a major seaport and hindered their ability to receive foreign aid and supplies, significantly weakening their war effort. Securing surrounding areas, objective to expand control and secure surrounding regions after capturing Calabar. Following the successful capture of Calabar, the 7 Battalion focused on securing nearby towns and villages to consolidate Nigerian control over southeastern Nigeria. They conducted patrols, set up checkpoints, and engaged in skirmishes with remaining Biafran forces. 
These operations ensured that Biafran forces could not regroup or launch counterattacks to retake Calabar. Impact the effective control of surrounding areas prevented Biafra from launching successful counteroffensives and maintained Nigerian dominance in the region. Significance of the 7 Battalion's Actions Strategic advantage by securing Calabar and its surroundings, the 7 Battalion helped the Nigerian government gain a strategic advantage in the southeastern region. Supply disruption Their actions disrupted Biafra's supply lines and limited their access to essential resources. Morale boost The success of these operations boosted the morale of Nigerian forces and demonstrated the effectiveness of coordinated military efforts. The 7 Battalion's involvement in the capture and securing of Calabar was a pivotal part of the Nigerian Civil War. Their actions not only deprived Biafra of a critical seaport but also disrupted their supply lines, significantly contributing to the eventual defeat of the secessionist state. The battalion's effective operations in and around Calabar were instrumental in the Nigerian government's strategy to isolate and weaken Biafra, leading to the eventual end of the war.